Hi, so my name is Elijah Foster. And I'm Kayla. And today we're going to be introducing you um, a new software called IDEA by Automation. Uh, this software is excellent for data importing and data exporting and all types of data analysis. Um, so first we've got to load in some data to demonstrate it. So um, there's already some data here. We're going to um, go to the file tab under database and open up, um, let's see, employees, employee data. So you click open and you immediately see it's a very clean layout. Um, you can see it looks kind of like Excel and here we can do some analysis on it. So we can first um, try to do the top records of this data. Click on top record and we want um, maybe 10 of them yes. and we want to get from uh, the salaries and you just click OK and that's 10 of them but you can find that it's all Chinese currency because so there's the Chinese a, yeah Chinese currency a little bit um a little bit uh, more inflated so we can go back to top records and um and group this by um by the country so we can see the top 10 from each country um and uh, oh, I forgot to I forgot to go to the other tab. Um, let me do that again. So the top ten and the top records um, in terms of salary from each country. So here we can see um, in terms of China, Germany, Mexico, USA, we have the top salaries. And that's how you do that. Um, very easy way to sort data um, and very intuitive. Um, so next we're going to uh, do do some, let's see, we're going to uh, click on a, an icon called field statistic. So in the field statistic, you can t uh, see that the salaries um, data, and you can see the highest and the slower and all sorts of analysis for the salary column. And we go back to data and we can start on doing others function. Yeah, so here we can look at a chart, um, look at um, set the X and Y fields, very um, straightforward, you know, set the type of chart, the standard charts, um, much, I think a little bit more simple than Excel, and you have just a random scatter plot of whatever I selected for the X and Y columns. Okay. So now we go back and try to show you other function sample. So we select random sample, and we might want to select 20 of them, just keep OK, and we'll tell you 20 samples that we randomly selected. And so this can be super useful for um, auditors who need to select a sample from, from a group like this. OK, and then you can see all this uh, sample we have selected. We might want to keep it and use it for other purpose. So we go to export and export as Excel file. We want to make sure we know where we save it as. Let's just save it at desktop. And we can name it uh, random random sample of employee. And just like that, one step process, very easy to export. And now we can pull it up. Um, I spelled employees wrong. Um, but you can see that it's all right there. No need to format much at all, just spacing. And uh, very easy to to import and export between Excel and IDEA. Um, and the next um, function we're going to show you is how you can import uh, data from um, internet or any data you want. So if you click on desktop, there's a different type of data you can import, like Excel and text. And we want to import it uh, from your desktop computer somewhere else. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna try to import the data that we used in class on the first day. So just to show you that this can be used for a variety of you know things that we deal with all the time uh, in terms of databases. You can just pull it right off, no formatting needed really. Uh, just look for it, um, find the file. Now you just want to list which sheets you want to import. And uh, just at the first row is just a column number, the row number. Um, 
And there you go, I have it all nice and delineated, um, ready to be used. So this is a very powerful tool that can be used for many things. Um, and you can manipulate this data and analyze it and do all the things that we showed you and a lot more. Um, and that's our presentation. Mahalo.